Hi, I'm Steve Losas, Product Marketing Manager from NXP Semiconductors here in sunny San Jose, California. With me is Eric Liu, Application Engineer. Hi, we are going to uh, do the demonstration for the PCA9957 using a demo board today. And this is a part right here. It's a QFN package, 5x5, five 24 channel. Okay, Eric, let's see one of these uh, LEDs come on. Because each channel can be on, off, individual PWM which are showing channel zero here. How about showing channel one with the bigger LED? And that's the green one. So we got the green one on here. And now can you vary this in brightness? We've got 8-bit control, 256 steps. So here we have brightness changing. Okay. And Eric has to come back in here and set the controls. Okay, channel one. So now he's got channel one selected. We got the green, uh, again, 256 steps. So can you turn on the blue and the uh, red LEDs in this RGB LED here? So we'll do a little bit of color mixing. Okay, so now you're turning on what the blue and turn on the red. So now it's mostly white. So bring down one of the colors. So uh, you guys know RGB color mixing. We got the uh, red, green, and blue LEDs here. Now for the uh, group PWM. The group PWM, for all the LEDs, it can dim them all at the same time or it can blink them all at the same time. So can you get a group uh, blink rate going here? So you can actually blink this LED. Okay, so now he's going through and adjusting each one of the LEDs here, channels one, two, and three, to be the group and the individual uh, control. So the blink rate goes between 15 hertz and 16.8 seconds. So uh, this allows you to blink all the LEDs uh, at the same time. And then for current, uh, Eric, I guess these are 32 milliamp LEDs yes. and we can set the current through the external resistor? Yes, uh, we do have a, a three external resistor. This has two different ways to adjust the current. You can use the external resistor, which adjusts the current for all the channels. And this way you can size it, the amount of current you want to go through the LED. You still get the 256 steps uh, digital PWM control, but there's also an onboard DAC, and there's 256 steps for the DAC control to the maximum sent by the resistor. So that's what Eric is trying to show right now. Can you go through and increase the 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 DAX? Can you set the DAC to 100%? And is that the brightest it's going to go? Yes, but th 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 this is because uh, the uh, LED spec. Yeah. So we, this LED only, only go up to the 16 milliamp. Oh, can, what's the maximum for the LEDs? The 16, but we can switch it to another LED. We can go to different LEDs. Okay, yeah. so there's a maximum for the LED, and that'd be one of the reasons why you want to use the external resistor. The device can go up to 32 milliamps, but if your LED can only go to 18 milliamps, then you can use the external resistor, set it for the maximum amount, um, so you don't uh, overrange the LEDs. But just be aware that as you change the current through the device, it also affects the accuracy of the device. The accuracy in this data sheet spec, I think, is like a 2K ohms. So uh, can you show the internal DAX? Or I guess you showed them already, right, when you set this up to 18? Yes. Okay, so we went through and he did the 256-step uh, DAC to adjust it. Now we got the maximum brightness on the LED. And this is RGB on all at the same time right now? Yes. Okay, so RGB is on. And now there's also six different gradation controls. We can actually go through and adjust each one of the LEDs for a ramp up, ramp down type of sequence. We can do it so it's a one shot control or we can do it so it's a continuous operation. So Eric, do you have something here that you can show the different controls just like a one shot control? Yes, uh, uh, we need to set up the, this green uh, up, green down. Uh, red, then also the, this uh, uh, long time. Okay, so you're actually going through and setting up the different uh, parameters that yes. are enabled here. We have a GUI set up here uh, that uh, actually makes it easy to operate to control the device. You don't have to write the software uh, to the micro. You can just use the GUI to see how the device works. So now Eric has something going on here. So we can do the uh, so you set it up for continuous yeah, we can set group zero single shot. 
Okay, so it's just a, a register setting there, single shot, or he just selects to go continuous, and it does continuous. So this is just some sort of blinking? Right? Yes. All right, so we got the gradation control, and then there's some safety features on the device also. Uh, you can read registers for open detect, so you can detect opens on the LEDs, you can detect shorts on the LEDs, and there's also an over temperature flag. It doesn't tell you the temperature of the device, it just, if it gets to a high enough temperature, and what is it, 140 degrees? Yeah, 140. Internal 140 degrees, it sets a flag to the micro uh, that it can read that the temperature is too hot. There's also a uh, onboard uh, temperature shutdown, the device shuts itself down if it gets uh, above 140 degrees. And then the last thing is just the device has an output enable pin, and the output enable pin allows you to do a uh, blinking for multiple devices. Let's say you have 10 devices here and you want them to all blink in, in unison. Uh, you can use the output enable pin in order to turn the outputs on and off, and the external output enable can also be used in order to uh, blink the LEDs just by flashing them so quickly you can't see it blink, and that's how you do PWMing. So, um, can you just turn? Can you turn all the LEDs on? Yep. For each channel. Okay. So all the LEDs are on, and then here was the output enable pin, right? So we take it here, output enable low, it turns it off. Uh, goes high, it turns on, and then obviously if you're doing some sort of on and off control, you can like here and blinking the LEDs with the output enable. Okay, that's uh, that's it, right? Is there anything else we need to show them here for the the new 9957? No, that's all. Five volt, 32 milliamp, uh, 24 channel LED controller and a really small QFN package. So, uh, thanks a lot for visiting with us. Uh, visit nxp.com for more information on the LED controllers. And again, thanks for watching this video. Thank you.